Greetings, everyone. Extreme Recap is here. Additionally, the science fiction film Battlefield Far Off the World will be the subject of our discussion today. It is the year 2042. Earth has been invaded by an alien civilization from a parallel universe that has taken all of the planet's resources with them. At the same time, the most dangerous enemies acquire the hunter weapon. Has destroyed the majority of human armies while attempting to destroy the last power plant on Earth. Humans, on the other hand, are unwilling to give up easily. The main character, Chan, has a terrible feeling about this mission as the remaining soldiers head straight for the solar panels to fight off the alien invaders. But before he can find his strength, the cannons fired by the adversary shatter the aircraft. This does a lot of damage to the ship as it slows down and the soldiers are being sucked out one at a time. The plane eventually crashes to the ground, destroying the solar panels at the same time as it does this. Despite Chan's ability to survive the fall before the man can regain his breath, the sergeants quickly drag him onto the battlefield. Despite humanity's best efforts, the people clearly cannot stand up to the aliens in the battlefield where all of the soldiers are fighting against the enemy forces. Weapons as the soldiers are quickly eliminated, appearing to be nothing more than insects. A massive tentacle suddenly launches at a human, killing the man horribly and revealing the infamous alien hunters who are on their way to destroy everyone. The horrifying creature is the target of the people's ferocious gunfire, but the attacks are completely ineffective. The soldiers eventually make the decision to retreat behind a shield wall and keep firing at the monster as the enemy's weapon continues to slow everyone down. However, this only makes the alien more enraged. The creature charges toward the people, slamming into them and pounding on the soldiers with ferocity before exploding everyone to oblivion. Because of this, the monster is able to force the soldiers backward, allowing them to continue killing people without showing mercy. An alien hunter immediately begins pumping enormous amounts of energy into its weapon. By launching the plasma cannon at the humans, which promptly eliminates the army as a whole. After some time, Chen regains consciousness and discovers that all of his companions have perished. While the gigantic animal is moving toward the man to take his life, fortunately, the principal character is protected by a commandant from the opposite side who will not surrender the battle in spite of the weighty setbacks. However, Chen has an alternate mentality by and large. The man rapidly chooses to take off from the front line, while every one of his companions are being killed horrendously by the adversary. Cheney eventually reaches a vehicle and rushes inside before driving away from danger and simultaneously abandoning all of his companions. Humanity has been relegated to the Dark Ages since losing this major battle. The main character has turned into a scavenger as he tries to sell off anything he can find in order to survive in this world, where resources are even more scarce than ever before. Nonetheless, before Chen can make any qualities, individuals notice that a tracker has tracked down their area, which causes them to immediately run away. The creature enters the building quickly and begins sniffing for survivors. The monster notices the humans and immediately begins killing them with its enormous tentacles while the protagonist is attempting to sneak away before they can escape. As a result, the creature began shooting at the humans and closely following them after realizing that they can outrun the enemy, causing the people to flee in fear. Chan uses all of his weapons to fight back, not realizing that he is being watched by a baffling team from afar. The man in the long run makes it into a structure where a fighter focuses an explosive launcher towards him and shouts for him to clear out prior to taking shots irately at the foe. As soon as they get outside, the people have a chance to run. However, the alien creature continues to pursue them while preventing the humans from attacking continuously. The enemy is eventually defeated by the survivors where numerous bombs were set up at the entrance with the intention of tracking the creature within the blast radius. While the team escapes the area, the people keep the alien at bay and start a massive explosion that destroys the entire structure. The humans will eventually be able to survive thanks to this. As the group presents themselves towards the fundamental person, incidentally, the gathering is driven by a leader called Gao, close by the touchy master John, and the Russian twins' passage and relaxation. The team leader, on the other hand, quickly discovers that Chen was a deserter, and as a result, he is forced to put a collar on the protagonist to prevent him from running away again. The man clarifies that they need opportunity for guide them through the area as they got a sign close by from a high-positioning general who spilled a mystery base for the opposition. 
Chen is forced to join the mission while Gao informs the protagonist that this is the man's only chance for transfer redemption. The people begin to move quickly on the roads until they finally arrive. As they attempt to restock their supplies, they move into a nearby town but quickly discover that something is wrong. The group decides to enter cautiously after spotting a number of dead bodies on the floor, all of which are likely recent victims. As a man is attacking a helpless female survivor, the team hears a woman scream. Fortunately, Lija stops him right away, striking the criminal in the family jewels and immediately paralyzing him. What they don't understand is that this was just a snare, as the whole spot has been taken over by scoundrels who killed the past survivors that lived here. Scott is instructed by the bandit leader to give up everything, including their female teammates, while the commander is forced to yield immediately, including the John sisters. And seizes the opportunity to use his strong, which immediately begins firing at the adversaries and gives the soldiers a chance to respond. Eventually, the group is able to eliminate many of the remaining bends. The soldiers are forced to rush inside the building as they continue to eliminate the foes and pursue the main character while Chen attempts to flee once more. Gao is in the end ready to catch the runaway as he allows the man a last opportunity to give up. However, Chen only shocks himself into unconsciousness as he tries to draw the commander's blood and threatens to turn off the electric light. Before a woman can get the man back, he sees a mysterious figure pointing a gun at him quickly. Fortunately, the individual is not his adversary. The woman, who was also present to locate the secret base, quickly reveals her name as Doji. Once more individuals promptly head out. While Doji makes sense of that her group has fostered a weapon against the outsiders and they need to get the examination towards the base immediately. As an alien hunter prevents them from crossing the field, the group eventually reaches a desert where they are forced to stop in front of a bridge. The commander must comply. They decide to use Chan as a bait to entice the creature away, so they come up with a plan. The main character is forced to sneak toward the alien monster while the other soldiers are preparing to fire at any moment. Soon, the man is able to close in, using the broken cars as cover and barely getting by the alien monster to stay alive. Chen finally makes it to a semi-truck, where he quickly rushes inside. However, he decides to boost the vehicle against the commander's plan rather than sounding the horn to draw the alien toward himself. Because of this, the monster is able to eventually locate the other soldiers who are directing people to fire immediately at the alien. However, the creature is not defeated by human weapons. The adversary immediately fires its cannons and launches an assault on the soldiers across the battlefield. He decides to drive the truck while using it as a means of escape, forcing the humans to immediately hide due to the possibility that the alien's weapons are completely ineffective against them, into the demon. Doji quickly gives the commander an experimental weapon that she claims will be effective against the adversary while the vehicle pushes the creature onto a post and temporarily traps it. When Gao grabs the plasma grenade and runs toward the truck, the enemy sees this and fires directly at the man, destroying the weapon. John takes advantage of the opportunity and launches a grenade at the vehicle which results in a massive explosion. However, the alien is protected completely by its incredible shields. Chan rushes over to the plasma grenade when he notices it and charges straight at the alien being. The man eventually leaps into the air and just in time throws the grenade at the monster, paralyzing the alien quickly. Subsequently, Gao stops and flames a bazooka towards a freight train, which drops onto the outsider and killing the foe too. Doji tells her team that the plasma grenade is made from alien technology after the battle is finally over. Which can show. The creature's shields went up and down. Nonetheless, she just had one model with her, and that implies that they need to get to the mystery base prior to experiencing additional adversaries. As they get closer to where the military signal came from, the people continue their journey across the desert. Eventually, the humans reach the top of a huge cliff, where they spot a huge entrance hidden beneath the mountains. When the team arrives in front of a massive door, they quickly move toward the secret base and are able to enter the military code to unlock the door. The massive eye began to move very quickly, revealing a massive tunnel. The people eventually make it into the structure as they cautiously venture deeper into the base, as they quickly move inside and toward the secret building in the distance. But because no one seems to be around, so notices that something very wrong. The people are able to open the doors and quickly locate a secondary entrance. In any case, 
it's stunned to see that their general is being caught inside an outsider gadget. The signals must have been a trap, the soldiers quickly realized, as the hunters of aliens begin to emerge to ambush the people. In an effort to keep the enemies at bay, the humans are pushed backwards by the alien creatures, but the approaching monsters quickly overwhelm them. After closing the doors immediately to keep the enemies out, the soldiers eventually manage to escape into a room, but they soon realize that there is nowhere for them to run inside. Fortunately, China is able to devise a strategy when he locates a wall that leads outside and plans to use dynamites to escape. John started setting up the bombs right away. However, the aliens have also located themselves, and they begin pounding on the doors to enter. The commander decides to climb out of the vents and eventually appear behind the enemies to entice them away, knowing that the gates will fail. This gives the others sufficient opportunity to explode the walls, while the people rapidly the tunnel and eventually making their escape to the outside. The soldiers immediately board the truck and quickly leave the area. Yet, before Long sees that their leader is as yet alive and running. Gal is forced to sprint across the battlefield as fast as he can to get away from the aliens, while the aliens keep firing at the soldiers and blowing up everything in their way. Fortunately, the commander is able to board the vehicle before the humans are able to shake off the aliens. However, at the last moment, Gao quickly realizes that John has been injured by the explosions, which ultimately results in his death. As a result, when the group finally leaves the area, they are able to bury their teammates. Despite the terrible situation and the soldiers' grief over their friend's death, the humans refuse to give up and begin using the alien they killed to extract energy crystals from it. This makes it possible to construct a massive plasma grenade that is significantly more potent than the Xi prototype. The people eventually make it back to the building as they secretly enter the structure using air ducts and quickly realize that the base is occupied by alien hunters despite their plan to destroy the secret base to halt the false signals. The administrator advises the Russian twins to set up the rockets as they fire every one of the ammo towards the structure and causing immense blasts. Consequently, as they use the drone to transport the plasma grenade toward the hordes of enemies, all of the alien creatures rush toward the vehicle. Nonetheless, the outsiders in the end kills the plane, which winds up dropping the explosive also. The twins are forced to leave the vehicle as a result, intending to confront the enemies head-on and refuse to surrender without a fight. Yet again simultaneously, the others can make it into the control room as they intend to stop the sign, yet rapidly sees that the outsider tracker is standing by to trap them. People are forced to immediately fire at the monster as a result of this. What's more, starts bringing down the adversary away close by the primary person, and deceiving the animal to leave the room. Doji takes the risk and started closing off the outsider gadget. As she uses the machines to let people know that the signal is just a trap, in contrast, Chan continues to evade the alien while wearing gown. However, the commander is aware that they can continue to run. The commander pushed the bomb onto his chest as the enemy eventually breaks into the room, causing Gao to fire ferociously at the monster as the man quickly locks the main character behind the doors with the intention of giving himself up to save the young soldiers. Be that as it may, the outsider figures out how to stop the man directly through the stomach and sticking him onto the wall, which ultimately sets off the bomb and exploding everything. Thus, Chan is able to make out with the woman as he quickly runs toward his teammate and notices that the plasma carnate did not go off. Doji Sisters quickly moves to the alien and fires wildly to distract it. The enemy's cannon only blows the creature away. Instead, the main character has a chance to grab the bomb as he starts to draw all the monsters toward him. The man lunged at the aliens with fury. The creature's attacks were barely avoided. However, Chen quickly realizes that the enemies have completely surrounded him before he can recover. Because of this, he has no choice but to fire the plasma weapon as he tosses it into the air. The shock wave is so powerful that it kills all the aliens. The bomb simultaneously destroys the spider shield and the enemies in the area, allowing Chen and his friend to regroup below the sunset before the people can celebrate their victory. However, they quickly notice the enormous spaceship moving in their direction. However, the allies have arrived to fight the aliens and, like the Avengers, are marching toward the battlefield to remind people that the war is far from over. So, what are your thoughts on this? Tell me what you think about this movie in the box below. Additionally, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to receive future videos.
I'll see you all later.